what are the causes of nephrotic syndrome with the urine protein also goes out and because of this inflammation we can give this treatment lifelong to the patient without hello friends my name is dr puru dhawan and in this video we will discuss about nephrotic syndrome what are the causes of nephrotic syndrome what are the signs and symptoms of nephrotic syndrome what are the complications a patient suffers from nephrotic syndrome and finally how we can control protein loss in a nephrotic syndrome patient we will discuss all these thing in this video nephrotic syndrome is a condition which is generally seen in the children what happen in a nephrotic syndrome patient is that the body the kidneys is not able to hold protein inside the body when a patient of nephrotic syndrome mixed what happens with the urine protein also goes out and all kind of complication caused by the low level of protein comes into the body in a patient of nephrotic syndrome three symptoms are very common first is loss of protein through urine second is because of this loss of protein as the blood become thinner what happens the fluid which is present in the blood comes into the tissue part and accumulation of fluid around your leg face hand can be easily seen the second symptom is edema around your dependent panel means swelling in legs third symptom is hyperlipidemia which creates a condition which is known as hyperlipidemia in hyperlipidemia the level of cholesterol is abnormal so there are three symptoms first is protein loss through urine second is edema around your lower extremities third is your high cholesterol level when all these three symptoms comes into in a body this condition is known as nephrotic syndrome now let's move to the complication part of nephrotic syndrome when your body is losing a high amount of protein what happens a lot of complication because of deficiency of protein comes into the body of the patient because our whole body is made up of protein from our hair to nails everything is made of protein so if a patient is losing high amount of protein especially in children what happens because of this deficiency of protein the growth of that child is retarded first thing second thing what happens because hormones amino acids is also made up of protein if the level of protein goes down there is a deficiency of amino acids and hormones in the body also another thing is that if the level of protein goes down the amount of hemoglobin also goes down the reason now the question arises why because hemoglobin is made up of mainly protein and if the body has low amount of protein the amount of hemoglobin also goes low so patient can be seen with the complaint of anemia another complication is anemia when a patient suffer from nephrotic syndrome what happens so the amount of protein goes low in the body and because hemoglobin is made up of mainly protein and the protein is less now the amount of formation of hemoglobin also goes down that causes anemia in nephrotic syndrome patient now let's move to another complication which is high bp because of heavy loss of protein in a nephrotic syndrome patient what is happening fluid is taking place fluid is getting accumulated in the body because of this over accumulation of fluid inside the body the pressure of the blood also increases which causes further damage to the kidney which causes further complication in a nephrotic syndrome patient now you know the sign and symptom of nephrotic syndrome and also the complication of nephrotic syndrome now it's time to go deeper into the kidney of a nephrotic syndrome patient and see what are the changes that are causing nephrotic syndrome if we perform biopsy of a nephrotic syndrome patient the report result will be minimal change disease that means when we examine that piece of kidney under the microscope there is no noticeable changes in the kidney but still there is a protein loss something is wrong with the kidney that's why the terms come as minimal change disease something has changed what is, has been changed now the question arises if there is no structural or any noticeable changes in the kidney what is causing nephrotic syndrome what is causing protein loss in that patient if we go deeper into that biopsy what will we find that there is some kind of inflammation and this inflammation is common in all nephrotic syndrome patient and because of this inflammation body is losing protein through urine if we want to control that protein we have to control that inflammation because of this inflammation almost all nephrologists suggest steroid to a nephrotic syndrome patient but steroids brings lots of complication also complication like weak bones retarded growth diabetes weak eyesight comes with the use of steroid so we have to avoid this steroid and we have to control the protein loss also so we have to look for a treatment which is anti inflammatory non steroidal and can be taken for life long period with the help of ayurveda and science engineering we can easily control the inflammation which is causing nephrotic syndrome we can easily control the complication which is caused by nephrotic syndrome we can give this treatment life long to the patient without any kind of complication also 
Now I hope you understand nephrotic syndrome better than before. Now you know the causes of nephrotic syndrome. You know the signs and symptoms of nephrotic syndrome. What are the complications of nephrotic syndrome? If you have any kind of question or query, you can simply ask on the number given below. You can also book an appointment with me on the same number. With this, allow me to say a good goodbye. See you in the next video.